Hello, and welcome back to Redneck Snack and Food Reviews. So I apologize if you can hear the background. Got kids watching TV, that's all good. So, uh, Planters has been really ramping up the cheese ball game lately. They brought back their original, and their, they brought in a new white cheddar. But then they came in and sang out of left hook, and, uh, there was a post on social media, and I don't remember what store it was, but they have the, uh, you know the Red Hot Cheetahs? Well, they have like Red Hot Cheese Balls or something like that. I haven't found those yet, so unfortunately I won't be doing a review of that. But they also have two new flavors aside from the Red Hot Cheese Balls, and here they are. Um, we've got jalapeno cheddar and nacho cheese i'm gonna knock the nacho cheese out first because honestly i don't see how nacho cheese could be all that different than the original which is pretty much cheddar but i said that about the white cheddar being different than the original and then the white cheddar tasted like it had differences to it so who knows um but they are really just expanding this lineup. Who knows if this is just seasonal type of stuff for the summer or if they'll be doing it for a while. I don't know. It don't really matter. Um, I'm just here to tell y'all everything I think about these two new flavors. So we'll start with nacho cheese and then hit jalapeno cheddar. Before we do that, I would like for you to go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and like, comment, and share this video. And check out my Instagram, Redneck Snack and Food. Alright, so, nacho cheese. This is not your cheese. Um, it looks like it might be a little bit brighter than the, uh, the original. But I, I can't really tell you I don't have the original with me. It looks a bit brighter. Um... But it's all about the taste here, folks. If it doesn't taste like nacho cheese, then, you know, lost cause. So here we go. Yeah, actually, it, it reminds me of a Dorito. So I definitely can taste a difference. Um, yeah. You can totally taste where it's like if you took Doritos and replace the chip base with a, a puff. Um, it does well in that aspect. Yep. Now, I feel like the flavor is not as strong as it could be. Like, I don't know if they need to dump more cheese on it or what. But it could use some more punch, you know what I mean? Um, but overall, they're pretty good. I then I have to give them a seven and a half. Um, just because I felt like they could do a little bit more of that. But overall, it kind of tastes like a Dorito. Um, so if you like Doritos or you like cheese puffs, you'll probably like that. So now jalapeno cheddar. Is this one bound to disappoint or will we actually get some good jalapeno flavor? Well, here I am to tell you what I think. Um, you can see the little specks of jalapeno, I guess. So that's key to this. Um, but what matters most, again, is how it tastes, not how it looks. Even though the aspects, aesthetics of things can be pretty pretty good and influential on how I review it. So here we go, folks. Um, not much longer of this video. I know it's brief. I know I didn't get to be my random rowdy rambling on self, but you know what? It's fine. So here we are. Mm. Instantly. Instantly you get jalapeno flavor. I wouldn't say it's got a huge kick, but now it's like the kick is building up more of an aftertaste type of thing, but yes. Mm. 
These work really well. They do have a good kick. They have a good jalapeno flavor. I definitely prefer these to the nacho king for sure. Um, I'm really tempted to just give them a 10. They just, they do everything right and more. And it's not one of the four. No, these are really good. Yep. You know what? I don't typically hand out a 10, but these, these right here, folks, they're 10. These right here, seven and a half. Woohoo! So, uh, yeah. I need a drink of water right now. Because I do have a little bit of a kick. Not too much, but I do say those were good. And I, for, one, one, for once, the last thing I reviewed in the video actually ended up being the best thing. So sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong. But these right here, 10 out of 10. These are fine, but <clears throat> they're nothing compared to that. So yeah, that's my review. And uh, again, on my Instagram, I said I'd be slowing down my reviews. I hadn't said it on here yet, but I think I'm going to try and do just one a day. Um, maybe slowing down what I buy and everything. So, it's a bit sad, but I need to take control on my eating habits. And so, I've been saying that, but not really just time to take action. So, um, yeah, that's what I've got. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see y'all around.